Hi guys, Chris again. And on this video, what we're gonna talk about is how to quickly and easily identify if the RAM you are looking at is uh, DDR4, DDR5, or something older like DDR3. So one of the things to be aware of is that some DDR3, this is a DDR3 stick. This is a very nice DDR3 stick. This is a 20, DDR3 2400. This is either the fastest or close to the fastest that you can get. Um, <clears throat> G-Skill sold DDR4 that looked almost exactly like this. I don't remember if it was identical, but it looked very, very, very similar to this. So it would be very easy to look at this and, and not realize that you're looking at DDR3. And I am guessing if this whole RAM thing does remain an issue, it may not, everyone that's saying it's gonna just permanently be an issue, that you may or may not be wrong. But if this really becomes a long-term thing like the GPUs were from like 07 to 19 or 21 to 23, that kind of thing, if it really becomes a long-term issue, this is going to become a problem. I guarantee it. So. It is not, okay, so this is DDR3. Now the easiest way to quickly identify this stick is DDR4. So the thing with the DDR4 is you see how there's this edge to it? Like you can see how, how it comes out. It's got kind of a curve to it right there. DDR3 does not have that. Now, DDR5, is very similar. At first glance, you can't tell. If you've got them right next to each other, you can see that the, the notch is in a slightly different place, but just look and then look. You cannot tell. The only way to easily tell with DDR5 is that some of the designs, if you know what you're looking at, if you're not new at this and you actually know what you're looking at, you can tell that the design is a little bit more modern on DDR5, but if, you, if you're not that you know up on your tech, it's not as easy to tell. But with this, you can at least identify that it is DDR4 or DDR5 rather than, oops, wrong one, rather than DDR3. DDR3 is just that straight um, set of pins. Anyway, I hope this uh, helps somebody keep from getting screwed. And I am not saying DDR3 is bad. There are some valid uses for DDR3. I'm just showing you how to easily tell that at the very least, uh, just on, on visual, you can look at the labels, but just at quick visual glance, I want you to be able to see, oh, that is definitely DDR4, DDR5, or, oh, that, that guy's an a-hole, he's trying to pawn off DDR3 as DDR4. Anyway, I hope you guys found this interesting and learned something, and thanks for watching.